All right, so today was day one trading a live account with TikTok funded account, and we had a pretty, pretty good day. Nothing crazy. Uh, we'll go over the trades, and I'm going to try to give you guys a daily update with this account as I am going to trade it solely with Polarity ATI. So today we took three trades, and um, I did wake up a little bit late, so I didn't get to my screens till like 9.50 or so, uh, but that is not a problem at all. So we have... A decent range on the market last couple of days yesterday we had a big uptrend today we had a downtrend so in this case here uh it's going to be the first trade and i am using their regression mode i armed it long that means i will get a short signal or short short trade and um i am going to get short on a pullback here because we had a big downtrend right so getting in on a pullback is a little bit better in my opinion than trying to trace the price action especially when um, you get, you know, filled into these lows here and then it automatically loses right away. So, um, I like that. And this trade is going to be pretty straightforward. Again, I am using a 16 tick stop loss and 16 tick target. So, uh, whatever settings you guys use, that will have a drastic difference on winners or losers. And also using a different time frame might be beneficial to kind of see the overall trend of the market. So a lot of these trades are going to be very discretionary so there's not going to be a black and white signal as to when to enter or, or it's not so enter but when to arm this, the system right the entering is done by the system but uh, like in this case there's no three stacked imbalances here so um you know i got in but i don't really see the imbalances now and i didn't even see them when i was watching this recording in slow motion so i don't know why i actually got triggered into this trade it's very interesting the settings I am using is 75 minimum volume and 0.35 imbalance. So that is something that I have to work on. And watching these videos over and over again over a course of a time is going to give me a better idea as to why uh, some trades trigger when it's not really super easy to notice why it should trigger. Or if you are doing this manually, you wouldn't take the same trades. So... Um, this trade was a winner. We are using two contracts. So we scaled down from three contracts like we did yesterday. Uh, just because it's easier to manage the risk. Um, we have a $2,500 daily loss um, limit. And then $3,500 loss on the overall account. So it's a significant cushion. But at the same time, if you take three contracts, 600 times five is already 3,000. So like you take three, four trades in a row and then you lose you're already close to, you know, taking that max loss. So I think two contracts is the sweet spot. And I am going to continue using two contracts here as I go. Uh, once we grow a cushion, then we'll scale up to three contracts and so forth. All right. So we are up $400 here. And uh, same type of an idea a few minutes later here, uh, looking for a short trade. So we are armed long with the regression mode selected. And right away we get triggered into a trade here and this one i like uh we did see uh, more imbalances here there are not stacked there's two gap uh tick there so i don't know why we got triggered but we did get triggered and this one i actually liked i didn't notice there was a two gap um between the the because there could be a one gap one tick gap between the um the imbalances but two i don't know but this one gave me also a positive slippage. So the entry should have been a little bit lower. But since we are in the short trade, it's good to have it um, up a little higher. Here, I'm going to take a screenshot for the Discord, unfortunately. And I'm going to miss the, the fail. But um, we got failed and we are up now $800 on the day. And that's a pretty good start. All right, so this trade is going to be our loser. So losing is one of the most difficult things for me when i am up on a day so that is a mental struggle that i have over the years and this is something i'm going to work very hard on with this account so basically i'm going to try to stick to this rule i don't know how well it's going to go but if i am up at these two wins on the day at some point i will not let myself go below one win total on the day so if i am up three wins and then i lose two and two times in a row and i am up only one win I will be calling it a day because I do have to trade 40 days minimum before I could even qualify for a withdrawal. And even if you make 400 bucks a day, that is a significant amount of money um, to be made over a course of 40 days. And if you do the math, it adds up pretty quickly. And 
again, I only paid uh, $249 for this account, right? So it's it's something to think about. And then being frustrated is how you end up blowing a significant amount of money in one day because you'll just keep arming the, um, the Polarity ATI, hoping for a win. And then you're going to up your size to kind of get back to break even. And it causes a lot of issues for me and a lot of traders like me um, that I know of. So trading is very, very uh, psychological and we have to overcome the, the weaknesses as much as we can in our trading. And this is one way to kind of do it. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this when I lose the first couple of trades in a day. This is another issue that I have to work on, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, we don't have to deal with that for for at least a couple of days before we grow some cushion on this account. But here's a bad trade, in my opinion, because um, not only are we against the resistance here, uh, which we had like a mini double top. Also, when you scroll back in the time frame, on the bigger time frame, on the tick chart, there was a big resistance there. So we are in a downtrend and uh, overall downtrend, and this was a bounce. So the bounce is already pretty significant. So I thought maybe the trend is going to change, but it continued to go lower. And um, I'll show you guys on the bigger time frame exactly how my trades looked, uh, just so you get an idea of what I'm looking at. But in this case, I think this was a bad trade overall. Um, the edge would be very small on this one. And we lost. So we are up $400 in a day. And I called it a day here. And I have no problem with that at all on the first day especially. So let me pause this. Let me bring up the tick chart right now. All right. So here we are. Uh, this was the final trade here. Right, so as you guys could see, we're already bouncing up the lows. And I was expecting a continuation, which we actually did end up going higher a little bit. But if you look to the left, there was a lot of resistance here. So this was a point of interest for this bounce. And I should have not been looking for a long there. Uh, if anything, I should have been looking for a short or just ignoring it since it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and waiting for a better setup. Um, as you guys could see, the market ended up selling off even more. And then it became a little bit of a chop. Um, but again, a solid, solid day overall. And I am happy with it. And I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, we had a nice surprise say, in the Discord. A lot of nice discussion. So if you're interested in joining our Discord, um, link will be down below. We have well over 100 people now. Every couple of hours, people are joining us. So that's awesome to see. And um, yeah, so these were my trades. And as you guys could see, I am marking the... Uh, the overall trend of the market and different things on the tick chart to give me an idea when I should be arming and disarming the polarity ATI. So I am not using the deltas as much as I should be. That is something that is going to come in handy as well. But uh, for now, we are just trying to use our um, knowledge from regular type of trading and then hopefully um, find something more concrete. So right now it's very... There's a lot of gray areas as to when to activate and deactivate the Polarity ATI. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted and um, hopefully we could, you know, keep trading and stick to a consistent result with this uh, for at least 40 days so we could get the withdrawal and see where we go from there. All right, guys, enjoy. Have a good night and um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow on another recap.